Oh crap, I skipped qualifying. That's gonna be bad, but no, what is going day. on guys and welcome back to heat three. Today we are racing our final race of 2022 at the Glen. Today we got some stuff in store for you guys, but you know, the we're on it and it hurts. So it might hurt my driving abilities, but it shouldn't do so. Crap, I just hit that wall. So relaxed yellows are on today, like they would be at the Glen in real life. Which of course provides for some unsavory things to happen. And oh, Austin Dillon almost lost it in the bus stop. Trying to get past Austin Dillon, trying to maybe dive down below Eric Almarola. I do succeed down below McDowell, get on the brake pedal. Just run Matt Benedetto all the way out. And just get down under him so we can get to where we need to be. And lap one at the Glen. We are up to 18th down below Eric Jones, down below David Reagan. Way over, way over. This is the final point thing race of the season. This is getting entertaining right here. Trying to get below Eric Jones for 15. I mean for 14. Still there. Alright, now you're clear. So right now the leader is six and a half seconds up on me. That's a lot of time right there. Right side. Clear right. Alright, get down below Chase Elliott maybe. Okay, run McMurray right nice and hard. There we are, there. under Suarez, we are in the top 10. Right, now you're clear. From 37. Clear all around. That was a good corner right there. We're getting really good here. Really improving our driving. Hold up, I need to scratch my ear. Alright, AJ Almendinger. He's running 8th right now. AJ Almendinger, he's shown some speed at road courses in the past, so... Of course, him being a winner here would be symbolic because he's had a pretty on and off season the whole time. Get on the outside of AJ. Almondinger up on the top groove. out of number three out of I think four I don't know about that one that was kind of weird now we're all, already back on the throttle here we've got good car control here it's not much self control See, we're not running them down an absurd amount each lap, but we're running them down quite a bit. Like, and we need a good point race here. Left side clear. 
Look at that thing right there. Running nice, consistent Clear. Clear. Consistency is key in NASCAR. Yo, Mad Dog 14, what is up? We're running the final race of 2022 here in Heat 3 at Watkins Glen. There will be more races in this series before it's over, but this is the last one in 2022. It was originally supposed to be Wednesday, but we'll call it a rain delay. More like I got grounded and had a lot of stuff to do yesterday, but like. So Kyle Busch is currently your race leader. Hamlin and Boyer, neither of them are into the playoffs. So that's that's gonna be interesting to look at. I had a really good laugh right there. Don't wreck Hamlin. I did. I wrecked Denny. I wrecked Denny. Ah crap. Caution does come out for Denny Hamlin. That puts Clint Boyer in position to take the lead from Kyle Busch. Clint Boyer, last time he won was at Atlanta in the other series. Alright, push Boyer to the lead. And I'm going to take second. Boyer, he's out to a mighty start. Yo, it's Gladiator, what is up? You are currently watching the points race of a lifetime here in NASCAR Heat 3. Clint Boyer currently leads. He has to win to make the playoffs, and I am trying to win to stay in the playoffs. Because I'm there, but I, I won Sonoma. Of course, you wouldn't know what any of this is, so yeah. Oh, Clint Boyer, he's kind of all over. He's on my buffer a lot right now. Oh, I way over to that corner. We're just going to hit the throttle and drive. Oh, I'm going to stick it under Boyer. It's not going to be enough. Clint Boyer will finally lead a lap. All right. Look at that side draft working on Brad Keselowski. We haven't seen that any since, like, Heat 3. Side drive just doesn't work in Heat 5. Alright. Clint Moyer. Like I said, last time he won was at Atlanta. And believe it or not, Brad Keselowski won Atlanta this time. Brad Keselowski, he is the last person to win this win a race in this series. He also has the most race wins this whole series with two race wins. Alright, I'm going to have to go for just a moment, but let me finish the lap first. Wow. Your power is still cut out? Wow. That's bad. Try and get below Boyer. Side draft. The side draft does work. All right, I'll be back.
boys, I'm back. I'm ready to go Glen racing, people. I can hurt my finger. It's not enough. I can hurt my wrist. Nothing is enough to stop the grind, boys. And right now, it looks like nothing's enough to stop me from winning this Glen race. That may be Clint Boyer. Ooh, Clint Boyer. Oh, oh, he was loose. He was looking a little loose right there before I correct him. So. All right, shoot out. Coming towards the Clint boy. Clint Bow Wow. Oh! Oh, look at that! Holy crap! I made that! I just invented living! Ah, oh, I waved to that corner. Wow, that was good. That was great. I'm gonna catch Clint Bow Wow and call him that from now on. We're already 12 laps in. I'm coming out with some steam. We've got the entirety of two people watching right now. That's kind of depressing, but you know. We managed to lose because we were too fast. Look at that. That is a beautiful move. Left side. But you just can't always make. There's Brad Keselowski. Kozlowski, he, he is a two-time winner already. Can he become three-time winner? We don't know. That's the point of running the race. Maybe I can become a two-time winner, sweep the road courses. Do I play Clash of Clans? I do not, but if you ever want to do that sometime, I mean, I, 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 I got a lot of stuff planned for the new year. I'm expanding my horizon of games next year. I'm going to... I think I'm going to be playing Gran Turismo next year. I might be trying F1 next year. There's going to be a lot of new games next year. There's going to be a lot of World Outlaw DLCs that I'm going to be buying and playing. Which I don't know if those count as an entirely separate game, but you know... Wow, back to running those quick laps like we all enjoy. Clash Royale. Ah, oh, yes. Everyone knows the infinite. <laughs> yeah, I just did the laugh that the king does in Clash Royale. Oh, crap, I ran off the track. I was looking at my hurt finger. Like I said, nothing stops the grind here on the Mr. Awesome channel. Nothing. I don't I don't stop grinding here because because you can't grow if you stop, if you quit. So it doesn't matter that I hurt my finger. It doesn't matter when I hurt my wrist back there. You know how many I hurt my wrist and I still got 3,000 views. And I hurt my wrist back in July. Yeah, I was still able to make videos. And like I said, I, one of them, after I hurt my wrist, I still got over 3,000 views. I was sick. I kept making videos. I don't stop. 
Nothing will stop me at this point. Like, next week is my first official Mr. Awesome break. And I'm only doing that because it's going to be hard for me to make videos if I sideswipe somebody. I can't catch nobody right now. I'm kind of, you know, stuck back here behind Brad and Boyer. Right now, the two closest cars to me, though, are way back there, too. They're like five seconds behind. Kyle Busch is 5.1 seconds back, and Kurt Busch is 5.4 seconds back. Trying to catch Clint Boyer. He's got three seconds on me right now. But we are catching him, which I will say is going to be good. Might have overdone that one. No, he didn't. Because Lyle's got to look like he's pulling away. But Boyer looks like we're reeling him in, so. Fuel. Oh, man. We're going to have to worry about fuel this race. Next time, by the time we get back around to the flag stand, we're going to be out of fuel. Not out of fuel, but like, we're going to be really low on fuel. I'm hitting the pits this lap. I've got to hit the pits this lap, basically. My options are either hit the pits or get the heck You're out of fuel. Later, coming to the pits. Leader is coming to the pits as well. Watch your speed, please. Too fast, too fast. You gotta slow down. Black flag, black flag. We got it there in black flag. God dang it. No repairs for us, definitely not. Four tires. I don't know if we can afford four tires at this point. We're going to go right side tires so we don't lose a lot of time here. Clash of cars. Like I said, that's possible. It's possible. I got a speeding penalty, man. Are you joking? Clear the pit. Never down. Back to 20 something. I have Minecraft. I did have a server a while back, but I lost it and I haven't wanted to play Minecraft since. Alright, now we're gonna get up on the high side of these guys. See, green flag stops actually make the race really freaking interesting. Because it's like some guys, they're going to stay out and they're going to try and make up as many positions as possible, lead a couple laps, and then they're going to go in. Some of these guys, we're going to go in as soon as possible so that we're not getting passed by 15 different cars. Yeah, I have Minecraft for the PlayStation, so I don't need any free Minecraft. I already have the thing. I like how they make an entire group of pit road, but it's like, no, why? Why would you make a groove down there that everyone's gonna race in and say that's pit road? That that's not pit road. That that's the that's a racing groove. You've got to build somewhere where you can actually enter pit road. That's a racing groove. You cannot do that. That's I'm not gonna say it's illegal, but it feels like it should be. All right, well, on the back stretch, we've got to catch Kyle Bush, which we're going to do through the grass, the pass in the grass, just like we did in the first series with Kyle Bush. We did a pass through the grass on him. Man, he has got his bumper all over me. 
but now we finally get to start pulling away from them on the front stretch. Into six we go. See, look, that was about the perfect place to hit right there. Trevor Baines running for I'm proud of Trevor Baines. You know what? No, he just hit the road, so nope. He's not running fourth anymore. Caution, Caution comes out. Wow. My tires are just blistered. I gotta get some new tires on here. Right now, there's no better time to do it. Back to 34th. Oh, someone's blowing up ahead. Someone, someone is blowing up, up ahead. We got a car blowing up. And he looks like he's way up there. We are going to charge. Holy moly. Up to 20 seconds. Up to, up to 13th from 34th in one corner. One quarter. Wow. Send it under Eric Jones. Let's, let's see how many positions we can gain in one lap up. Right now we we gained 23 positions this lap. 23. That's crazy. I went in a pit, a guy blew up, well not like blew up like actually, but like his car, it stopped working. Still there, right side. Trevor Bain really wins on that one, cause like he had the pit, Clear all around. and so did like half the field. So he actually gains lots of positions, and in one lap, we go from 34 to 9, 25 positions in one lap. From P34 to P9. That, right, that right there is something you don't see in modern racing. Someone gaining 25 positions in a lap. Boys, when we get up there, you know what we're doing, right? We're going to try that thing we did in in the uh the shootouts the thing we did in the shootouts Clear left. we are about to head out to the wild west boys because this thing is about to get for real we're about to enter p number six if we can get under kyle bush oh kyle bush loose right side clear. we're gonna take advantage of kyle bush we're gonna run him hard as possible Get down there, we sideswipe him, and now we up to P6. We're halfway through, man. That's this is one of the quickest races ever. There's Kurt Busch. The Glen. Okay, boys, we're going to try the thing we did in the duels when we get closer to the cars ahead of us. Because right now, the leader is four seconds ahead. You know what? Let's try it, boys. Let's freaking try it! Right ah, we caused a wreck behind right us. Around. That's just a wreck and a half right there. We gained position, but we lost time to the leader. So, I would say mission failed. I was just like, full send, people, full send. So who is it that actually blew up? We don't know, but we'll figure it out soon. I think that might have been Eric Jones. Wow, that guy's been so good in the points recently, and now he's blowing up on Pair Road. That's got to suck, man. Now he's going to get knocked out of the points contention. That's 
tough, man. Really freaking tough. Kurt Bush! Kurt Bush! Thought we might thought we might have lost a good soldier right there. We are definitely fighting a war, so I mean we can call out a soldier. Kurt Bush. Stay left. Think nice your driver. Hold this line here. Right side. All clear. I wish it was still Kurt Bush in that number 41 car, but now it's freaking Ryan Priest. And honestly, I don't dislike Priest, but like Priest, he just. We got 24. I think everyone kind of likes Kurt Busch more. Kurt Busch is a better race car driver in total. Just all in all, Kurt Busch is a better race car driver than Ryan Priest. Or well, he has been. Remember, Priest has been with JTG Doherty for the only time he's ever gotten to go to the Cup Series. Only cup race he's ever run is with JTG Don't no, The only cup race says he's only run he's ever run were with JTG Darty. And that's a team that just doesn't win a lot. I mean Ricky Stenhouse won the Daytona 500, but like anyone can win the Daytona 500. It's like think about how many oddball winners the Daytona 500 had compared to almost any other race in the Cup Series. Michael McDowell, Austin Cendrick. Jamie McMurray. I mean, there's a lot of oddball drivers that one day Tony 500. There's also really good drivers in one day Tony 500. Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Dale Earnhardt. But Think about all the good drivers who haven't won Daytona 500. Kyle Busch. Um, sure, that that would be good with me, honestly. I'm looking for people to help me manage with the channel because sometimes we get those chat bots and we get all kinds of crap in our stuff, so it's like, it's hard to manage the channel sometimes. Especially when I have to worry about two different videos on one day, and I have to worry about two right now. Right one of which is the one I'm doing. The other is one that I'm working on and hope to get out by Christmas Day, but family's busy, so don't know how. You know, I know how, but I don't know if. Eight more laps on one canister of fuel. I think we can live with that, maybe. Last lap was awful. All full. We were two seconds off of our fastest lap ever. This car is pretty clean of damage. So the pit road speed is really the only thing hurting us right now, honestly. Hey, look, look at our tires right now. We could run on these for a while longer. Yeah, I will consider it. It's just the one thing that hurts me is that late night videos, that you're not able to attend most of those, so that could be the one thing that hurts your application. Oh no, actually you can be there, but it's like those mid after movie videos. Yeah, I, I I'll think about it. You know, don't have the fun with me to actually do any making people moderators and stuff.
pit stops is going to be important. Can I have a slow one? No, well, I might go on pit road just last. Honestly, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait until we can make it on just one more pit stop, and then I'm going in. Yeah. All right now I Oh crap, oh crap. Alright, I think we're gonna go in this time. Oh, Kurt Bush. Next time around, we're hitting the pit road. Whoa! Whoa! So leader went down pit road, I think. That or the leader got really messed up. Oh, he's getting held up right now by lap cars. Gilly Billy! Alright, we're going in this time for, hold up, do we need tires? Alright, we're going to take the risk. We are going to go for only two tires. No speeding penalties today. No, we're taking right tires. We... We've got to take a big risk if we want to get the lead. Oh, what, what kind of game are you playing? I mean, why do you say grandma's mad at us? Look at that. 7.9 seconds. That's a quick pit stop. Quick. There's Ricky Stenhouse Jr.
All right, Ricky Stenhouse. Oh, look at that. They took each other out. Daniel Suarez. I'm running, I'm trying to finish and possibly win this race on old tires. The leader must be on pit road. He must be. I'm holding Suarez up. Martin Truex, he's 15 seconds ahead. He, he's behind Love now. Oh, yeah, you're clear. So Kyle Butt. Seven people are watching the finale of 2022 with the Glen right now. This two-tire strategy. This two-tire strategy could win me a second race. I think Paul Menard actually might have been the race leader at one point. Uh, Kyle Busch should be hitting pit road. With I would expect Bush to hit pit road within a couple... He's hitting pit road. He is. He will. He's got to. I think Paul Menard probably will too. I don't know though. I'm not sure on Paul. But I know Kyle Bush will be. I think they both did. They did. Menard on the pit road. Bush on pit road. Is Kurt Bush on pit road? He is. We are race leaders. Daniel Suarez is second Clint Boyer oh crap we hit the wall Daniel Suarez Clint Boyer Joey Logano and Brad Keselowski fighting for a race win at the Glen I don't need it that bad and I'm tempted to give it to Daniel Suarez but he probably gonna have to hit pit road again Oh crap, we ever did the corner. Oh, oh, oh! Speed on the front stretch. Clint Boyer brings it to three tenths of a second behind Daniel Suarez. Look at that up on the burn. That gives us time to just check out on the front stretch. So Suarez, we had to hit pit road. That means we tend to go. Oh crap, these tires are really war. Just gonna have to go for 10 more laps. Gotta win this race. To sweep the road course stretch. 10 more laps around the Glen. Lap traffic could become an issue here. You've got to hold off Clint Boyer for these laps. And if worse comes to worse, we will do the move. That car ahead of you is pretty. Car ahead of me? Nobody's ahead of me. Oh yeah, he is. David oh, Gilly Billy has hit pit road. Clint Boyer gets the lead from a mistake. I made a mistake, and now I don't know what it is, but I just can't run quick no more. We're gonna have to make this move here, this lap. We're gonna have to hold him off for eight laps. That's crazy. That's, that's madness. It's Mr. Awesome Gaming is what it is. 
We'll do it! I will take my chances, Clint. Clint, I'll take my god darn chances. I'll take my god darn chances every time I get an opportunity. Logano will not be allowed by. Nobody is allowed by me. I'm running the best laps I can physically get. Because we need a race win. And we will do anything for it. We will make the move and we will stun the world. Eight laps. Caution comes out. Oh, now this leaves Clint Boyer vulnerable. Starter has the green flag in his hand. Be ready. You're vulnerable, Clint. You're gonna get past on the bottom. Side draft on that front tire. Clear all around. Ah, oh, crap! We let him by, didn't we? No, he didn't. Never. Clint Boyer never gets the pass. You shall not pass, Clint. This is my win here. I've raced for it. I have lived for it. And if I have to, I will race my car to its death for this win. I'm doing whatever's necessary. Great. Yeah. We're gonna finish it out here at the Glen. We come down to what? Four laps remain in 2022. Boyer got good out of that, but he didn't get as good as me. Four laps remain in 2022. Let's make them the four best laps of 2022. Clint Boyer, he's all over that rear end of mine. If we let him by, then the move has to be performed. We will do whatever necessary to win today at the Glen. A lot of pressure on me. Because Clint is coming. But I'm going to do the best I can to bring the pain. Oh, crap. Clint, he is all over that rear end of mine. We're coming... Three more laps in 2022 around Watkins Glen. No! No! Okay, now we have to perform it. It's gotta ha it's gotta happen. And if we don't perform it correctly, then we are screwed. Darned to think about this victory that we gave away. But we will make the pass for the lead. And we're gonna block it. Frick! Now we're stuck, basically. Look at that. I never had to stop in that corner. Never. Clear right. No, I wrecked Keslowski, didn't I? 
That's going to start the big one, isn't it? No, we're blocking. No. The distant memory now. It's all a distant memory. Now a restart is the only thing that could save us from the loss. A wreck has to happen. Something's got to happen here. Watch what I'm about to do now. That was my strategy. I had to I had to touch somebody. Have a good day. This is the strategy. Be ready. Ready. This has got to work or we are out of a race victory. Everything I do has to go pitch perfect. And right now it's Logano. I will reel in Boyer, I will reel in Logano, I will do the move, because it's NASCAR overtime and what the heck could happen by trying it. If we're not leading now, we're going to lead them. Watch, 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 watch. Don't let him buy, don't let him buy, don't let him buy, don't let him buy. Look at that! We stuck Legato in a bad position. Now at the white flag, all we have to do is get him again. It doesn't even have to be the same move. It just has to be some kind of good move. And now we're up to second. We would have held him off, then it would have just been like a dash of the check. Now we have to, we have to do something now. One mistake flag, is all it takes. This is the one track where there's such a good thing as good mistakes. Right side. Right side, you're clear. And right now, that's what we're doing. It's not enough, man. It's not enough! The fact that, that it didn't work in the real race breaks my heart so much. I worked so long to perfect that move. We're just holding off P3 now. These hooligans behind us. Checkered flag flies for us. Harvick, you don't get this Left position. It's mine and mine only. So Joey Logano will win Watkins Glen. We're coming home with P3. Wow. One mistake that cost us the race. Ah. We could have done something about it.
Look at this. Look at this. Watch how watch how much I messed up Chris Busher. That's a that's a sad moment right there. Boys. Let's look at the points here. As we continue on to see the results. Joey Logano wins his second race of the year. Eric Jones finishes 39th. That's bad. Harvick finishes 4th. Truex doesn't finish like that. So, boys, it's the end of the 2022 Cup season. I think, pay homage to it, let's do one more 2% dash to the finish. Two percent AI difficulty ninety nine. All right, boys, one last race. This doesn't have any kind of points implications, this is just for the fun of it. Boys, we've done it. Twenty twenty two. Is days away, well, no, kind of like a week away. Like a week away from ending. Let's go. We made it through the year. We've had one, we've probably, we've had one of the best years I could have asked for. We've gotten over 20,000 views this year. We've gained over 100 new subscribers. We've expanded our reach of games. 2023 holds a lot. I just don't know what. Probably be the return of some old classics. The addition of some new games. And all that. Might bring back Warzone. In one of those games. Might bring back something like, I don't know, COD Mobile. One to go. We got, like I said, 2023 holds a lot. And I can't wait to see what's in store. There's going to be lots of new racing games, just a lot of new games in general. got one more video coming out this year this one is a great way to end the year out both from views from the support you guys have given and all things you've done along the way. A lot of you guys met me back sometime in July. I gained over 40... We gained over 40 subscribers in July. We hit 100 subs a few right. months ago. A hundred subs, and we're running up on two hundred. Coming to the green, driver. Yeah. Be ready here. We're. I'm just looking forward to it all, man. It, it's a lot. The fact that the year's done after the thirty-first, which I mean, it always does. Man. You know, it's like something different about this, you know. 
So Paul Menard is going to lead this two-lap shootout at the Glen. It's been a deserving victory if Paul Menard gets it, but I just I just want to see another Glenn win. I haven't gotten, I didn't get to win the real race. Here, you have the bottom. Mother truck is good. Martin Truex takes the lead away from Menard. And I gave Truex the lead. I'm gonna knock him right out too. Boys, the final whole lap of 2022 in anything except the NASCAR HRA, which will be coming out Christmas Day if everything goes correctly. Boys, I appreciate all y'all. I really want to say that because a lot of YouTubers don't say it that often. I do appreciate all y'all, and I really can't thank y'all enough for all the support in 2022. At the start of 2022, we had 37 subscribers. Now we've got 155. I couldn't have dreamed of getting that. We've gained relationships and we've lost them. But coming down to the checkered flag, it's time for us to close this out with a victory. You heard the checkered flag today. Let's burn this place down, boys. Like down people. First we do our lap. No win at the Glen. Lugano becomes the, he becomes the second driver. To win two points paying races because Kyle Bush, if we count every person's race, if we count everybody's total race wins, the most winningest driver would be it would still be Kyle Bush because he won both duels. Actually, no, Logano didn't win two points paying races, he won the he won the Chicago Lane race, so no. Watch us get a corner cutting penalty. Like I said. Oh my goodness, I'm spinning it out. I'm trying to burn it out somewhere else. This isn't a burnout because of my victory. This is a burnout for 2022. And for 2023 as well. What it's got in store, I don't yet know. I haven't even touched 2023 yet. So I can't tell you what it's going to happen there. But what I can tell you is that we will come out better than we did. Come out better than we started. And we started out pretty nicely. Woo! Yeah! 
Burn it down, boys! Burning it down! And that's what we're doing at Bristol, boys. We're winning Bristol, and we're becoming points champions. That's January, though, and probably February before we ever even kind of champion, so... Hope you guys have enjoyed. It's probably the last time I will directly speak to y'all in 2022. Goodbye. Thanks for everything.